It seems like everyone has a different idea about how to dress for a prairie winter. Some bundle up. Others like a more loose-fitting and fashionable look, and the threat of quick frostbite to exposed skin is, well, not that important. It's not just adults that are slaves to fashion. This student had only a light coat and shoes on. Are you guys out of your minds? <laughs> uh, no, I guess we were just unprepared for the cold weather. <laughs> How do you feel walking even a short distance from the store to the school here? We're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You're drinking a milkshake. You don't have much more on either. Well, just I'm this cold, late. but uh, I think it's it, like it's the wind chill factor that's uh, really making it bad. But. Uh, I don't know, I'm thirsty and I like milkshakes, so... <laughs> Whether it's food or the daily drive to work, Calgarians braved the bitter cold and icy streets today. Most slowed down, but even then, not everyone avoided an accident. There were more than 60 of them, all were minor. Electrical consumption was nearing an all-time record for the second day in a row as the temperature plunged to minus 30. Even the Bow River was warmer than the air as water quickly condensed and formed an eerie shroud over the city. But most people seem to take the cold in stride, even those who have to work in it. You look like you're about ready to fall over now from... Uh, are you really... Oh no, I was at the bar watching a hockey game last night. <laughs> oh, so you're a little bit greased, eh? Uh, a little bit colder. That helps you stay a little warmer. Sure, it's any grease. <laughs> The air will get colder yet, a low of minus 34 tonight and no warming until Friday when it will be a balmy minus 5. Wayne Nikituk, CBC News, Calgary.